to something you didn't know. God loved you and he covered you. Praise the name of God. And every time the enemies want to destroy you, he covers your shame. And every time he checks, are you okay? When people are seeing on the outside, what God already covered you. And he comes in the evening and he says, are you alright? When the enemies are looking at you, they see what they see, but God has covered you. Are you alright? Are you alright? He is waiting for the right time. They see the luck you are in. They see your uncombed hair, but there is something they cannot see in the inside. Oh, are you alright? It's only God who can see in the inside. And that's why in the midst of the night, when you are crying on the bed, he comes and he gives you the word. And this is the word. Just a little time and I'm going to show up. And given a little time, he unveils you. And then he says to God, and I'm getting ready to blow the minds of your enemies. Are you still in this place? In the morning when we were praising God, I wondered why the praises were so spontaneous. And people were happy to praise the Lord. You see, the praise means you are getting ready to enter into another season. Because a wounded woman, a wounded spirit, a wounded man, a wounded man of God, a wounded woman of God will have a distortion in the praise. But when you see a restoration in your praise, it means something new. It's about to happen in your life. Praise the name of God. Oh, may God strengthen your feeble arms now. And may God strengthen your feeble knees for you to be able to handle the next miracle in the name of Jesus. Are you still here right now? What you have underwent is enough in Jesus' name. And somebody in this place, you got to be an anyway child of God. And anyway, child of God is a child of God who can praise him when going through the pain. You are going through struggle, but you can afford the praise. People are talking against you. People are hating you for nothing. But when you go in your private place, you say, great is thy faithfulness. The enemy thought that you are done. Because he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But something the enemy did not know, even after he has come, to steal, kill, and destroy. The Son of God, Jesus Christ, he came so that I can have life, and not just have life, but have life and have it more abundantly. In the name of Jesus, I feel a breath right now. Give your name a high five for the second time. And tell your neighbor, neighbor, it's all right. Abel is dead. It's all right. Cain is dead. But what you are about to stumble in is an appointed seed from the Lord. Oh, I feel deliverance. I say I feel the Holy Ghost now. Are you still in this place? I feel revival. I say I feel the supernatural. I feel the need era. I feel something is about to begin in your life. Can I talk to people who have ever lost something here? I know you lost your first boyfriend. You lost your second boyfriend, didn't you? You lost your first employment. And even where you are working right now, everybody hates you. When you smile, they tell you to close your mouth. When you say, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, they ask you, what are you doing now? Even when you apply emotions, you apply the promise, you apply the expensive colon. When they see you, they shuffle their face. The devil is a liar. You need to watch what God is about to do in the name of Jesus. And that's why he sings, I am God the restorer and I'm going to restore. And I talk to people who have lost their joy. You have lost your heart. Happiness. I'm not only talking about the money, but you have lost your love in your house. You are no longer intimate to your husband, no longer intimate to your wife. You no longer call her babes, honey, praise the name of God. Something was lost. 
and that's why today he sent you into the revelation and the eternity city because something is about to blow you in the name of Jesus praise the name of God praise the name of Jesus the only problem you have right now is to deal with the people who have been mocking you I say the only problem you have right now is to deal with the same people who looked you in the face and then they said you are not coming out we don't think she can do it we don't think he can make it if I have God on my side I have favor on my side and if I have favor on my side he ain't going to deny me anything because favor 